Okay, everybody. Uh, video today is uh, refurbishment of my trailer. Uh, it's a drop tail. It's, a, it's, a, it's been a very useful trailer. I've probably had it now about 15 years, I think, and uh, never really had anything to do. It had a couple of punchy repairs bit of service on it and that's it that, but apart from that it's been a very 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 useful thing very good trailer indeed so <clears throat> what we're going to be doing is as you can see the lights cracked you've got a bit brittle in the sun and so we're going to be replacing those uh, we've got some new tires that one's okay the other two have got cracking in the walls because again they've not been replaced they've lasted me this long i decided it's time to spend a bit of money i'm going to change the plug because the plug's damaged on it the socket on the car is damaged and uh, also the socket on the uh, i've got a van over there the tow socket on that one's damaged also um, where it's bottomed out so we're going back to this trailer uh, Something else we're going to do is I'm going to look at replacing the. See, it's a, a drop tail, which is a really useful thing. If we look in the back, the plywood in the back is really showing signs of cracking and uh, weather weather damage, which isn't surprising after the age it's been. Um, so what I've decided to do is this is the old plywood, I think looking at it it's gone very dry and bitty it's probably got a little bit of life left in it but I'd rather change it while I'm doing everything and put it back to usable state so we're going to be changing that for the new uh, plastic impregnated plywood with the non-slip tread on um, there's various trade names I think for these things but that's what we're going to be putting in uh, it's a six foot by four foot trailer so I'm hoping to get a piece of that cut to size so it'll just drop straight in and we'll do that uh, we'll have to drill the holes in for fixing it so I'm going to try and use the old piece as a template to uh, to drill the holes in the new piece so there's the jobs we're going to be doing so we'll try and do I'll take you through it and try and do it together uh, everybody has any input or ideas please let me know in the comments Hi everybody back here with the trailer if you remember uh, I've got my drop tail galvanized trailer and we're going to do some work on it um, we're going to replace the lights just to remind you I had a pair of lights on that were looking in a bad state of repair and looked on the internet different options all sorts of different options I really wanted to get LED ones but looking at them and I thought oh, you've got to mess about you drill holes and things so plus the price was, was a little bit more than just the standard lamps and then I looked on these and I noticed if you can see there maybe that these are a, a radix 6800 so I looked on the internet for those and I actually found the same lamps uh, I also knew um, colored diffusers for them to replace the broken ones but as you can see the body on this one was was broken anyway so it was it was time to replace uh, I think the lenses, the diffusers, were maybe like 5 euros each and for a full lamp I think it was 15 euros, something like that um, I ordered them and I got a pair when they arrived, they had the same model number um, same fitting centres, the two, the two studs were the same and also the same uh, socket to take the the plug to make them easy so I don't even have to wire them you just unplug the old ones these ones and plug the new ones in however when I got them I noticed that they were 
they had these marker lamps on top with the uh, red at the back white at the front really nice idea however um, there's the fixing studs for them you see in the plug there there's a red plug on this side green plug on the other side so you can't get them mixed up marker lights great idea really good idea addition because of, of previous to that there was no marker lights on this so if you were towing at night nobody knew coming the other way that you had a trailer on um, also for overtaking and stuff you know where the back of your trailer is great idea however mine were encased in the in a u-shape metal so the old lights used to fit inside there these arrived with these so I had to make a modification so all we did was we drilled the four corners and sawn the shape out, filed up the edges and able to insert in at an angle and uh, up into the onto, up into the top. As I said before, the same fixing holes, so there's no redrilling required there, and the plug is exactly the same. And I did the same on the other side with this one. Also, as you can see, there's a green plug on that one. Now these come with the standard triangle reflector, which is uh, compulsory, I think, in Europe now. And uh, if you notice, that one has got a reverse light on it. Wonderful idea if you've got one of the new multi-pin um, plugs. I think they're 13-pin plugs. Instead of the standard old-fashioned 7-pin, maybe, which I've got. So unfortunately you can't put the reverse light on that so we've got one fog light and I disconnected the reverse light in the plug so it doesn't actually work. So we fitted those so that's the update on the, the light situation so I recommend these. They're a standard bulb I mean you could always get the LED bulbs with the old type fittings um, just to upgrade if you wanted to do that but they come with a set of bulbs in them uh, or lamps in them and I don't think really for the price, 15 euros, um, I think you had to pay a bit of delivery on top of that, that they were a bad price for a complete thing with lamps in. So I'd go for those anytime. Uh, for ease, for mounting, two bolts, the plug in, plug out, they're a great thing. They're a good good build quality as well. As I say, the lawns I had before are uh, 15 years old, something like that, and they've, they've, they've been good even with my gluing uh, repairs from before so there you go uh, the lamps replaced on the trailer so next thing we'll look at is the the floor hi again everybody we're back with the trailer um, so I'm going to replace the, the floor in it so I was removing all these screws didn't seem to go through I think that might be taps into the, you can see how bottom the floor is there. Uh, I think these screws are tapped into the frame. I don't think there's knots on, I think they're actually tapped. So there's one there. One there. It's actually worse at the edges than I thought it was. And there's some more, so I'll continue with these. I'll spray them with a bit of WD and then I'll come back to see when I've got them out. Okay, so we're back with the trailer. I've finally got most of the screws out. Some of them were just spinning. I think they're on self tap as the threads are going to in the sheet underneath so they weren't going to come out so I had to bust the wood around some of them with a view to getting them out when I get the wood out of the way um, I suppose I could have got to under the side of the trailer if I wanted to but I figured the wood was coming out anyway so do that so we'll take the wood out now and uh, have a look underneath Okay. 
course I'll be using I need to get a size so I'll use the existing wood as a size guide compared to the inside faces on the trailer uh, but you can see there there's a couple of couple of screws still left in so I'll just have to get out I think the problem is it's, it's not too thick stuff and it's like a self tapper they've put in so you can see it's a bit it's a bit I think the threads have gone have to get them out but that's good I'm pleased there's no damage underneath originally I bought the trailer second hand anyway so I didn't know if it was damaged it's fine it's all clean it's all straight it's all true get myself a new piece of wood and uh, do a video then about what we're going to do to refit it okay Okay everybody, we're back with the trailer refurbishment, if you remember. Refurbishing the uh, drop tail trailer. Last video was the lights, showed you. Now we're going gonna to replace the floor today, as, as you remember. It's about a 15 year old floor, it's not really been kept inside very much. As a result, it's gone a bit weak in places. And I thought it was about time I spent some money and replaced it. Originally, I was hoping to replace it with a plastic impregnated uh, wood, which seems to be the new sort of non-slip flooring they're putting into trailers and horse boxes and stuff. However, I've had trouble sourcing that for a decent price. So what I have ended up doing is I've bought some marine grade ply. I think it was 18 mil ply, um, and that's a. Uh, an eight foot by four foot sheet and um, we only actually need in the trailer six foot by four foot so I'm gonna have to measure and cut that down to size so that's what we're gonna do now so I'll put a tape measure into the corner at the far end looking down here and we're saying 178 on that side Oops, we'll check the other side just to make sure it's square And I think that's about right at 178. So we'll make the cuts up to that now. We'll, we'll mark a piece of wood up. So we'll take the tape measure over to the big piece of wood. And we'll look down 178. Go to the other side. Drop my pencil. And we'll measure this side. 178 okay and then well I'm looking to line it up with the, the mark over there I'm sorry about the lighting it's uh, I've got shadows and if you can see Yeah, that's on the mark there. And we'll follow it down here. It's on the mark there. And so I'll scribe that across with a pencil. Thank you. 
that's not lying. Okay, so now we've got a line across the entire it's the it's here it's the left hand line. If you can see I've put an arrow to, to indicate which which side it is the, the straight edge slid when I was using it. So I'm gonna saw that now and then we'll come back to you in a bit. Okay, so I've sawn off a piece and uh, now we've got the shorter piece here which should be 6 foot by 4 foot or 178 we measured uh, I think that's okay I need to make holes in it and I don't really want to have to re-drill the, uh, the, the cross members in the, in the trailer floor so what I'm going to try and do is utilise the, the holes that are in the existing piece of ply Although some might be slightly large to mark through onto the the new piece of ply, um, the fixing positions, and then I won't have to drill through the uh, frame, uh, hopefully the metal frame on the on the chassis of the trailer. If I do I have to move the hole slightly, then that's all be it. But I won't have to drill them all uh, again. That's for sure. So we're going to take this and remove it and uh, I'll come back to you when I've got it in situ on top of this piece okay so I've, I've placed the I hope this wooden wind noise isn't going to be too disruptive uh, I've placed the, the old floor board into the, into the new one and it's just a case of then making sure the edges are in line marking through this with my left hand so I'll have to redo it again with my right hand that hole, press it down, make sure it's in line, that hole still in line on the corners and work my way along all the holes. Some of the holes I've had to break through, they're a bit big so I've marked those roughly and then when I put it actually onto the trailer I'll have to try and work out where the hole centre is, um, transfer the hole centre off the the floor support actually onto the new piece of wood and try and pick up the hole that way, drill it through. There are a couple of holes that are like that where the bolts had seized in and uh, I managed to get them out of the floor supports but um, to get the piece of wood out I had to break the, well it was a rotten wood around it and some of the edges are rotten as you can see. So they're tricky to, to mark, I can get roughly where they are but uh, anyway so that's what I'm going to do and uh, I'll come back to you when I'm ready to do them okay everyone right we're back with the trailer but if you remember we're, we're um, changing the from the lights got new tires on it now um, I'm going to change the floor the other one's there, it's in a bit of a bit of a bad state, so I've got a new new piece of wood which I've painted up in some some decking paint so whether or not it'll be any good or useless I don't know. It's marine ply, I think it's 18, 18 millimeter ply, cut to size. I've put the holes in it ready for the for the fixing to the cross members. I'm just going to drop it in now and we'll uh, see how it looks and get it bolted up and if it's all okay then we'll, we'll silicone around the edges just to protect it a little bit more. So I'll come back to you when I've done that. So I've been through the, the back of the trailer and I've uh, put all the little bolts through tighten them all up underneath just just using uh, nuts and washers give you a bit of a look under there just so you can see what that looks like see in there 
just like that throughout the throughout the trailer. So that's what I've done so far. Next step is to silicone silicone all around the joint and makes a side and along the back edge here with a bit of a gap just to uh, just to stop the water getting in uh, when you've already got holes underneath go through slowly when you're drilling you can see there I was uh, I was drilling through holes were slightly in a, out of line with the plate underneath I caught the edge of the hole and I snapped the drill so it took a big chunk out of my wood already so I need to put a bit, a bit more paint on that to cover it up but other than that it went quite well and uh, I'm pleased with it so far